Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to another episode of Lunch with Lisa. I'm Lisa Warner. I am the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing and I am a guide to higher dimensional consciousness. I help my clients create happy, healthy lives for themselves by opening up their awareness and seeing things from a different angle. Today I wanted to talk about what's going on in our world today because everything seems like it is being turned on its head. Our lives have been forever changed basically overnight and I wanted to help you see from a different angle to see what's going on. So what is actually happening here? The third dimensional matrix is going away. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that humanity has been living inside a frequency bandwidth of consciousness that has been known as the third dimension. The third dimension is a bandwidth of consciousness that has specific rules about how things work. Those rules include polarity, duality, separation, linearity, and conditionality. So what, is, what does that mean? Well, duality means two. Polarity means opposites. You can think of um, the North and South Pole on our planet. They're, they're opposites. They are electromagnetically locked together on opposite sides of the planet. So polarity and duality play out in many ways on our planet. All of the paradigms, we have love, hate, war, peace, well-being, disease, good, bad, right, wrong, should, shouldn't. Right. All of these things are locked together in patterns of polarity and duality. We can't have war without peace. We can't have abundance without poverty. All of these things are locked together and they're locked in linearly. So each and every one of us is living somewhere in between the two extremes. You know, we can be living as, as the wealthiest person on the planet, or we can be living in total abject poverty, or most likely somewhere in between. We can be at total peace and harmony with the world, or we can be at war with someone else, or even just war within ourselves. And somewhere along that line, each and every one of us falls. So these patterns of extremes and living somewhere in between these extremes, and these extremes happen in every area of our life, you know, disease and health, happiness and sadness, um, you, everything, you know, our political views, uh, you know, the, the views about what we should be doing and what we shouldn't be doing, you know, right livelihood, what, how, how do I make money? You know, all of, we have ideas about all of these things and all of these judgments and conclusions and ideas about how things work fall in between these extremes and between all of these extremes creates the matrix. And we have all been living inside this matrix of the third dimension for hundreds of thousands of years, basically since the fall of Atlantis. So what does that have to do with now? What does it have to do with me, <laughs> right? You may, you're probably asking. So what is happening is the planet Earth herself has been living inside this bandwidth of consciousness. And Earth now is being moved up into a different bandwidth of consciousness. It's like tuning a radio station from one station to another station. The consciousness of our planet is being raised up. 
So we are now leaving the land of the 3D matrix. We are being moved outside of that. And what is outside of that is unity consciousness. Inside the third dimension, we appear to be separate and separated from everything. I'm over here, you're over there. So we're separate beings. This country and that country are separate. So it, within separation, when we look at things as being separate from ourselves, we then judge, you know, this one's better than that one. And we start judging each other and ourselves and, you know, look at our, look at the, the political atmosphere. You know, it's the us and them philosophies. You're, you belong to one camp or the other camp. And what happens is that when we start locking ourselves into these linear points of view, you know, walking this particular pathway, when we believe something is the way it is, then we lock ourselves into that particular point of view. And when we lock ourselves into a particular point of view, linear thinking, then we don't see the other points of view that we could be looking at. So we automatically shut down our awareness about other possibilities. Not on purpose, it's just the way it happens inside that 3D matrix. If I have the perception that there's something wrong with my body and somebody gives that a name, it's like, okay, now I have this thing that's wrong with my body and I have to now fix the thing that's wrong with my body. Well, now I'm walking that linear path line. I'm walking, this is now the story of my health. And it doesn't allow us to see all the other possibilities of how our bodies just simply heal themselves. Our bodies, if we're locked into a viewpoint that there's something wrong with my body, then the body cannot heal itself because we've already come to the conclusion that there's something wrong. So there can't be something wrong with my body and nothing wrong with my body at the same time. It simply doesn't work that way. You can't have a disease and not have a disease simultaneously. You got one or the other. That's the third dimensional matrix. You got one or the other. You can't have both at the same time. So as we start to leave that third dimensional matrix, other possibilities start to appear. Why? Because consciousness happens in concentric circles. You can think of the, like the Russian stacking dolls, like they got the really little one in the, in the center and you got a slightly bigger one. You open that up, right? So the, you got the great big doll, you open it up, there's a smaller one, then you open that one, there's a smaller one, open that one, right? So in the third dimension, it's like being in the little one in the middle. And then suddenly, as you step outside and you look beyond that, it's like, wait, there's another one. And then, oh, there's another one. There's a bigger one and a bigger one. Well, each time you get the bigger one, the bigger layer of consciousness encompasses the smaller one. So there's more information in each consecutive layer. There's more possibilities available. Inside that third dimensional matrix, it's completely limited. There, there are a limited number of possibilities but we live in an unlimited universe. There are infinite possibilities in the universe, infinite. 
never ending possibilities. That third dimensional matrix is finite. And we as humanity have explored every nook and cranny of that third dimensional matrix. We have explored every single way to limit ourselves, every way to live in struggle, every way to live in fear, every way to kill ourselves and each other, every way to feel less than, small, separated, lonely, lost, imprisoned. We have done it all as humanity. And so now we are ready to move outside of that matrix and explore some new stuff, some better possibilities. And as we step outside of that matrix, we realize that all of the negative stuff, all of that negative polarity, the, right, the, the poles, the positive and the negative, the negative side of all of the things exist inside that matrix. All the positive stuff, like when we're experiencing peace and ease and joy and happiness, those things are outside of that matrix. They are in the fourth or fifth dimension. So we've had access to the other dimensions, but we've been rooted inside that third dimensional box. The box is now going away. The walls of our invisible prisons are being dismantled. And that's why everything seems so chaotic right now, is because everything that was out of balance inside that old matrix has to be let go of. We have to look at all of our limitations and we have to see through the illusion of those limitations. We have to see that we are not limited anymore. So as we realize that we are infinite beings, we are not limited in any way, shape or form other than by our own beliefs. And we've been programmed to believe what we believe because we grew up in a certain family with certain rules, certain ethics, certain ways of doing things. We went to school and we learned the proper ways of doing things. You know, and we as individual consciousnesses got plugged into that 3D matrix. You know, we, they talk about the herd mentality. Well, that's, that, that's the matrix. And when we get plugged into that matrix, we start thinking in automatic patterns that match the matrix patterns. So when we are, when we're told that, well, there's something wrong with your body, well, we just continue along that thought pattern. We continue along that same line of thinking and we automatically except that, uh-oh, there's something wrong with my body. Uh-oh, I just got the diagnosis. Now I have X, Y, or Z. And then you have to follow the pattern of what X, Y, or Z is. And we just automatically follow these patterns. But it's time to break the patterns. It's time to step outside of the patterns. And when it comes to our bodies, our bodies are designed to heal themselves. This is completely obvious when you look at, you know, if you, if you break your arm, you put the, you, you wind the bones back up, you put a splint on it, the body does the rest. When you cut your arm, you put a bandage on it, you stitch it up, you put a Band-Aid on it, whatever you need to do, cover it up. The body does the rest. It seals itself back up. We don't have to do anything. When you twist your ankle, 
you get a sprain, you stay off it, you allow it a little time to heal. The body does the rest. We live in these amazing biological vehicles. They're shape-shifting vehicles and they match our shape in every moment. They're matching our thought patterns. They're matching our energy. Every single thought we think, our cells are listening. How many thoughts do we think of, I'm not okay. Uh-oh, what's going on? What do I, I need to protect myself. Uh-oh, uh-oh, how many of those thoughts do we have? How many thoughts of like, oh my God, I screwed up. Oh my God, why did they do that to me? Every one of those negative thoughts, our cells are listening and they're responding. As we step outside of this 3D matrix, we leave all of the negative stuff behind. We leave the linear patterns. We leave the judgments and conclusions. We leave the automatic thought patterns behind. We leave the linear mind and we start opening into the wisdom of the soul. The soul is not linear. The soul is multidimensional. The soul is in oneness with all that is. The soul has access to universal consciousness. The soul exists in total peace and harmony with the rest of all that is. The soul is not separated from anything. And it's especially not separated from you. The mind is the programmed into the 3D matrix. So the mind then feels separated, feels, it feels that it is small, that it's limited. We feel like we're the limited human in a great big world. We feel like we're really small and vulnerable. Therefore, we feel like we always need to be protecting ourselves on guard, on the lookout, watching other people to see what they're going to do. How are we going to respond? How do I react? How do I, how do I fend off the impending attack? That's not how the soul lives. The soul is in oneness with the unified field, the one field of living conscious energy that we live in. And when we start to see that that unified field of energy and consciousness, that quantum physics has already proven that we live in, that we are the quantum field. When we start to realize that we can utilize the energies of the universe, of, the, of this quantum field, to generate realities for ourselves. We can generate our own health. We can generate our own happiness. We can generate energies from this field, and then the field matches our energy. That's what's been going on, but we've been living inside that third dimensional matrix of I'm not okay, I don't fit in, I'm afraid. I, and, the, and, and the unified field is matching our every thought. So when we have thoughts of I'm not okay, there's something wrong with me, the unified field presents something it will present the evidence of our belief. So when I believe there's something wrong with me, even though there's nothing wrong with me, if I believe that there's something wrong with me, then the unified field goes, oh, okay, I'll play that game with you, Lisa, here. 
uh-oh, look, there it is. See there, I told you, there's evidence right there that there's something wrong with me. Whatever that evidence looks like, whether it's, you know, I'm going broke, I'm, you know, there, I have a disease, so, you know, they, they shunned me, you know, whatever that, whatever that is that shows up. It's going to be evidence of my belief. So when I have that evidence, when I have that belief that there's the, a monster in the closet, that I'm being attacked by an invisible enemy, when I hold that belief, the universe is gonna present evidence that appears as the enemy. Are you seeing what's going on here? If we are, in, if we are believing that we're being attacked by an invisible enemy, we will see evidence of the invisible enemy everywhere we turn but when we realize that we don't have to hold that point of view because it's not the only point of view as the soul the soul is not being attacked by anything the soul is living in complete and total harmony outside of that 3d matrix you are living in complete harmony outside of the 3D matrix. The 3D matrix is falling apart. And as that falls apart, we enter unity consciousness. We start living in oneness. We start living in peace and ease and harmony. We start realizing that our bodies heal themselves because that's their design. We start realizing that this is an abundant universe and there's plenty for everyone, but only when we are all sharing, when we are all caring for and about each other, when we all pitch in and work together. There is plenty for everyone. When we all start living in unity consciousness, wars end. Whether it's wars with our bodies, wars with each other, wars with other countries. Why? Because as long as we're fighting with anyone or anything, that fight is happening inside ourselves. And aren't we tired of fighting? We don't need to fight. We don't need to fight with each other. We don't need to fight with other countries. And we definitely don't need to fight with our own selves. The 3D matrix is falling apart. That's why everything appears to be so chaotic. We are moving from linear thinking, from looking from one angle to looking from multiple angles. So now we're starting to look at all of life. We're looking at society from multiple angles. We're seeing how, how do doctors fit in? How does healthcare fit in? How do pharmaceutical companies fit in? How do governments fit in? How do, how do our communities fit in? How do our neighbors fit in? How, how do all of these parts and pieces fit together? How do they work together? Inside the 3D matrix, they don't work together. There's fighting, there's, there's discord, there's dis-ease inside the 3D matrix. But outside, there is harmony. 
outside, everything starts to work together because we realize that when we work together, everyone thrives. There is well-being for everyone. So how can you start to trust yourself and trust your body? How can you trust your own well-being? How can you start to create peace in your personal universe? It's really not difficult. It is actually quite simple. Just a few shifts of perspective and you're there. That 3D matrix, anything that feels bad, anything that makes you afraid, fear, shame, blame, guilt, doubt, any of those things are the mark of the 3D matrix. They're the negative things. That's the stuff that's going away. That's the stuff that you can let go of now. Because what's on the other side of that is beyond your wildest dreams. We're talking, we are moving into the new earth paradigm. This is where heaven on earth, heaven is not a place, it is a state of being. Hell is also not a place. It is a state of being. And that state of being exists inside that 3D matrix. We're letting it go. So no more fighting for your limitations. Don't fight to hold on to the matrix. Start opening up. Start looking for peace and ease. Start looking for your own well being. Because when you find well being, you will start finding well being outside in the world as well. Why? Because the external world is being shaped from your internal world. Each and every one of us is creating our own personal universe our own personal reality. So as we find well-being within, that well-being starts being reflected in the outer world. We start seeing evidence of our own well-being. When we start to know that we are well-beings, infinite, eternal, always well beings and we start to trust that well being that we are when we start to trust the unconditional love that we are and we embody that we will start to see that reflected back to us we don't need to see the dis-ease being reflected back it's time to have our well being reflected back when we look into the external world. If you need assistance unlocking yourself from that 3D matrix, if you'd like to speed the process of melting those walls that have been keeping us locked inside these invisible prisons, please feel free to reach out to me. My website is connectingyoutoyou.com. Again, my name is Lisa Warner. I am the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing. Oh, look, it's, it's got holes in it. <laughs> it's available on amazon.com, and it's a great way to start looking at your health and your body from a different perspective. You can start to see how simple self-healing can be. If you need assistance, please feel free to reach out. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this was helpful. Until next time, create for yourselves a great week. Bye for now.